Hey, it's Michael. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on throwing some teapots today because I entered three teapots into a gallery and all three of them sold. So they want me to bring some more pieces and I thought, why not make some last minute ones? The show is going to be going on for a month. So about a month to get three teapots or so cranked out. And yeah, so enjoy the video. I'm not quite sure exactly. It's pretty dark in here and I can't see the bottom very well. Um, so the last thing I want to do is have this nice form and just cut a hole in the bottom of it. So I'm going to try to be generous with how much foot room I give it. So you make your little cut, clean it up a little. Take your string, cut it off. And again, before you cut your piece, you want to dry the piece off. That's what I was doing with the metal rib. I was uh, scraping the slip off of the piece. Then after you cut it, dry your hands. And it's heavy, but that's entirely the, uh, the weight of the foot, so. I'm gonna make the lid now. Wow, I'm just I'm just realizing how long it's been since I made a teapot. It's crazy because I used to make them all the time. A little bit of clay. I want to start by making a kind of a shallow bowl type shape. And 
and you want you want to leave the rim of the bowl pretty thick because this is going to be the the ledge that goes into your teapot three and three fourths like make it a little bit wider Okay, then I'm just pressing my thumb down on the outer half. I pressed my thumb down on the outer half of the edge of the bowl, and now it's not a bowl anymore. Or the inside is a bowl. This this part's a bowl. But then the outside is a ledge, and that's gonna sit where the teapot is. Now let me, hold on. Yeah, I made that lid completely the wrong way. I measured the wrong, um, I measured the wrong part of the teapot. Okay, just to clarify <laughs> the mistake that I made during making the teapot, so the part that you want to measure is the is inside of the inner ring inside of the ledge of the teapot you want to take that diameter and then you want to make the um, inner ring of the lid that size also so that when you make your lid the inside is going to act almost like a cork and it's going to actually sit inside the teapot so that's where I messed up but luckily I was able to save it and and it worked out fine. The reason that this this part is important to measure is because you can't really trim this too much. I mean, you can trim it a little bit, but not. You can't really move this ring. This is the ring that's going to sit inside the teapot. Um, now, this outer ring, you can trim this all you want. So again, dry the bottom of the piece where you're going to pick it up. Cut it off with a wet string, going slow. Stop it when you feel it cut. You'll, ju you'll just feel it pop. And then dry your hands. upside down lid. It's going to be like that and where I'm holding I'm going to trim this excess clay and make a knob. some of it off because that's very long. It's 
weird. There's a little piece of something in this clay at the right at the lip. So maybe the most important thing when making your spout like this is to compress the clay with the metal rib. This is going to make the spout a lot stronger. And it's going to allow you to manipulate the spout and bend it more, which is important. Now I'm going to bend the spout because spouts are bent, right? They're not straight. They're not straight things coming out of the teapot. They're, they're bent. Now you just cut it off. Make sure your hands are dry and make sure the piece is, is dry. I like to use this throwing stick. So it's hollow and you're obviously going to clean this up with a carving tool or a needle tool, just cut that extra clay out. Um, yeah. So that's the one teapot. I'm going to throw another off camera, but I hope that helped anybody. So be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll be putting up more content soon. Thank you.